insured. Find out if your case yeah. qualifies by entering the page. My husband is hood, praise the Lord. Alright y'all, um, I am on my way to Niecy's baby birthday dinner. I am running behind, thanks to my husband. Yeah. My bad. This my last day. Don't mind me though. Yep. Last day before he has to turn himself in. <laughs> um, so I want to. Ain't yeah, nothing but a little time. I bust it up. I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> Say that again. Say ain't nothing but a little time. I bust it up. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, y'all. What is this? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Let me let me let me give my husband a car. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll I'll hit y'all back in a second. Okay. Give me a second. Cut. Y'all, hmm. no makeup, no nothing. <laughs> so, no makeup, no nothing. But I am here. I'm getting ready to walk in. I put one thing out, three more things. Come on, come on, man. Just do it by himself. I love my husband. I do. I promise you, I do. So, um, listen. My my wife is about to go to a dinner. On my last day. I'm not selfish. Missy, I love you. Happy birthday, baby. Um, just send her back. If you don't send it back before I'm looking for you. We're gonna have problems. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and go inside. Love you, babe. The restaurant is Eddie B's Prime Seafood. I'm allergic to seafood, but once again, I'm here for my girl. So. Can I get a cup of water? Four lemons and six sugars. That would do, thank you. <laughs> that would do. So, let's go ahead and go inside. Wait, 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 it's on camera. What did you say? What's, what, can, can you confirm that, 
place to meet? February 1st? Okay. Y'all heard it, right, cousins? All right. But we'll talk later. Look at all these black people trying to get content. <laughs> Okay, ready. We have a uh, house-made pea flower tea ice cube and the vodka-based cocktail with lemon and grapefruit flavors and the lemon twist, the Hope Diamond. Happy birthday, Mel. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Ice cube. Yeah. 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 Uh, Basil Hayden, a premium bourbon, made some cherry wood planks and some wood chips that we light on fire at the bar top to get the inside of the glass nice and smoky. Then a traditional old fashioned with Basil Hayden and chocolate bitters, a traditional orange peel garnish, and a filthy amaretto cherry, the smoked old fashioned. Again, happy birthday to our guest of honor. Cheers, ladies. I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay. Who that drink for? That's for you? Oh, you're going to be playing chess with Jesus. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving sweet tea. That's really right. Can you give us a review on this side about the bread? Oh, sure. So for me, the bread is a four out of ten. It's given. <laughs> I just had some rubber bread. I meant bread. Um, and I see what sis was saying. And then I don't know what they put on the butter. Um, I guess they felt like it needed extra. That is show the camera. All right, here you go. Let it focus. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but I love the ambiance. I love the vibe. Had some like jazz music playing, you know. So we cool and we good. Um, oh. Baby girl is about to do a speech. Let's turn our cameras. Ooh, what does 30 mean for Shanice? No, you gotta talk a little louder. Not all of us have a microphone on our camera. You talk about me? What is 30 a year of restitution and a year of recompense and every limitation that was placed in the prior years is removed in the name of Jesus 
you will move out of your own way. I command that your mental capacity shall increase, your emotional capacity shall increase, your physical compassion shall increase in the name of Jesus. Because it's one thing to decree and to declare, but it's another thing to prepare. So as you go forth, I want you to go forth in boldness, I want you to go forth in power, and I want you to go forth with a sound mind. And I decree and declare that your voice in this season shall be amplified. It ain't no more low talking, it's, it's, it's time for you to speak with power. That's what I decree and declare for you, and you already know every witch, every warlock, every principality, every spiritual wickedness in high places, we arrest them now in the name of Jesus and we command the ministering angels to go before you. We command favor to go before you. We command provision to go before you so that when you walk, everything will come into alignment in the name of Jesus. Prophetess, God told you to, not people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give it to you. But I love you. Happy birthday. That's my girl, y'all.
Ma, always on her phone. Ma, always on her phone. Oh, good night. Oh, good night. Oh, good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay um i know it's a little dark but my husband is saying farewell to his friend so i decided to stay in the car and i have a lot racing through my mind right now a lot tonight i was reminded on a lot of things today overall today overall and I want to start with time how we need to honor time right um, the reason I say that hold on, let me see. Okay. so with that being said um, it's a matter of I learned a lot of things today. Um, I can't really wait to get home so that I can journal. Um, I was reminded of a lot today. And um, and it is, it is emotional, right? Hubby about to turn himself in in the morning. And he has to do a couple of months. I'll let him talk about that. But time, right? We have to honor time because you can't receive or you can't gain something you do not honor. And a lot of us don't honor time, right? And we cry about how there's not enough hours in the day when actual, in, in actuality there is enough hours in the day. It's just the lack of management the lack of time management right we're allowing too much unnecessary things consume our time right um and we're too lazy um with time management right when we can be productive or we can be creating memories or we can be spending time with loved ones whatever it is that is uh beneficial we don't do that even even rest we don't even make time for we don't even make time for rest and one thing you will always hear me say is that we have to schedule our pleasures because pain schedule itself right so I want you for me it just today I was reminded on different in different avenues of um, you know time management like you know, am I, uh, am I, am I respecting my time, right? What am I doing with my time? Once again, preparation requires what? Time. Preparation requires time. Manifestation requires time. Seasons require time. Fruition requires time. You don't plant a seed today and it sprouts tomorrow. No. Over time, it begins to grow. It begins to flourish. So what am I saying? Look at what's eating your time. Look at all these, like, even look at your social media um, screen time, right? Let's talk about that. Like, even your social media screen time. So what is that looking like? right so we have to be very intentional with our time and today i was reminded because um as a creative person right um i would say you know i talked about what i went through the last year right um and i could have done a lot more better with my time okay um, I should have had a whole lot more done. Why? Because I had the time, right? But I didn't manage it well. So I was reminded about that. So I want you guys to reflect on your time management. And I want y'all to comment below. What can you do better? Like, what do you feel like you need to cut out? Or where, what area in your life do you feel like you need to do better when it comes to time? Right? Um... So, 
yeah that was that then I was reminded tonight on consistency about being consistent consistency do pays off consistency pays off consistency is not in vain so when we went to the restaurant tonight um for my friend's birthday dinner um y'all know i'm very observant and god uses different things to speak to me right and i was like and as i'm sitting there Right. As I'm sitting there, I'm thinking to myself, like, how many people do I know with a restaurant? Right. Because even I aspire to be a restaurant owner. I want to open up a restaurant, um, you know, a Luke's restaurant or whatever. Very luxurious, you know, Haitian American restaurant. Right. So. And the Holy Spirit, what I heard when I was looking at everything and I was observing, right? What I heard was, it's five star because they take care of it five star. Because they pay attention to the details. They train their waiters, their, their, their bartenders, their staff. They train them on how they want them to execute, right? Because they are a five-star restaurant i believe they're a five-star restaurant but the quality um the uh, the ambiance the presentation uh the customer service all of that was beautiful beautiful i didn't necessarily eat so i don't know how the food tastes so yeah i i can't you know i'm not for the lie so um, but I would say this, I did have a sour, uh, uh, amaretta sour, and that is the best amaretta sour drink that I've ever had. Like, it was just OMG, okay? So, but yeah, so back to what I was saying, as far as, you know, it's five star because they carry themselves five star. And I begin to reflect on me right like okay elder how are you carrying yourself right because um walking into that establishment you know that okay you can't come there any kind of way when you're going to a restaurant or whatever venue you're going to you're mindful of how you walk into that establishment why because you dress according to the standard you dress according listen you dress according to the standard you dress according to how they present themselves you do you dress according to yeah how they present themselves let's just leave it right there let's just park that right there right so now when it comes to you right when it comes to you as an establishment when it comes to you as an entrepreneur when it comes to you as a speaker as an author as a creative as a content creator whatever title it is that you carry right what is the standard that you are setting for yourself um what is the standard that you're setting for yourself so with that being said it was just like okay elder you want you people gonna come at you the way you allow them to come at you people come at you because they see how you carry yourself how you show up you have to be mindful of how you show up because you are your own brand you are your own brand period you are a representation of everything. I'm not only a representation of I am Elder. I am a representation of God. I am a representation of my husband. I am a representation of my children. I am a representation of my church. I am a representation of my family. I am a representation of people that are connected to me and who I'm connected to. This is good. So for me... I was just like, dang, I had to do a self-check, right? Because I posted this reel. Let me insert it right here. In case you forgot. Just in case you forgot. Okay, so mind you, this is me after a whole year, okay? Of going through straight hell and I, I allowed myself to look like what I've been through. Didn't care about doing my hair. Y'all heard me a couple of times on how I didn't wash my hair or how I didn't detangle my hair and all these other stuff. Like we, we went through that, right? So we have to be mindful on how we show up. So I was just like, you know what? I got to get back on it. I thank you for tonight. I thank you for today. 
because I was reminded of time and I was reminded of consistency right so now I have to be consistent so you know for me it's back to the drawing board because now I have to create a schedule because I need to be consistent with my channel I need to be consistent and intentional with my um, TikTok, with my uh, Instagram right because one of the things you know the main purpose of me doing all of this is me being transparent so that I can encourage you I don't I don't want to sit here and 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 act like I got all my ish together no I don't I'm creating I'm in the process of creating the life that I desire right and I wanted you guys to grow with me I wanted you guys to go through that process with me and through everything I wanted you to be encouraged inspired impacted um you know and 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 if I'm able to impart into you through whatever transparency you know may the Lord have his way so with that being said I'm just full like I'm just really full so that's why I really can't wait to go get home and and journal right and then gonna spend some time with hubby um he said you know told baby he told our son told our daughter that he'll be gone for a while baby boy didn't of course don't understand he's only one but um my daughter so you know she's like okay um so yeah i'm i'm very emotional and i'm trying not to cry but i'm a g you feel me i'm a crying g so it is what it is so um yeah so yeah i'll see y'all when we get home and if my husband have anything to say to y'all i guess he'll say it so see y'all in a second